Bears beat me. It was Bears beat me. I can cut my pancakes all by myself, said Bear. I'm a big bear now. Yes, you are, said Mama. Mama gave him a big bear backpack. It had pockets for each of his things. Lunchbox, glue, pencil case, crayons. Bear hugged Floppy goodbye. You need to stay home, said Bear. That's what little bunnies do. Big bears go to school. I love you, Floppy. At school, Bear met his new teacher. Welcome to my class, said Miss Fox. Bear thought school would be lots of fun. But something or someone was missing. During arts and crafts time, everyone coloured but Bear. At snack time, everyone ate but Bear. At nap time, everyone slept but Bear. What is the matter, Bear? asked Miss Fox. You haven't coloured, eaten or napped. I miss Floppy, said Bear. I thought I was ready for school. I guess I'm not a big bear after all. You are a big bear. Being big doesn't mean you have to do everything by yourself, said Miss Fox. Even big teachers need help sometimes. Bear thought about Floppy home alone. Then he had an idea. He asked Miss Fox for help. Miss Fox put out some supplies and together they cut, glued and coloured. After school, Bear was happy to see Floppy. Floppy, I made something special for you. Now I'm really ready for school. The next day at school, Hi friends! Bear! Hello! Hi! Bear had a wonderful time doing big bear things. Could I go next? That looks like fun! Hiya! So did Floppy.